Daily Message, April 21st, 2024. The Characteristics of Our Living God, Part 5. Continuing on with the exploration of the characteristics of our living God, God is triune in nature. That is to say, God is three persons in one Godhead who share the same essence or substance known as the Trinity. As a distinctive Christian doctrine, the Trinity is considered a divine mystery beyond human comprehension. The triune or threefold nature of God is seen in these words of Jesus to his disciples. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The doctrine of the Trinity is a distinguishing feature of the New Testament, yet, as presented, does not violate the Old Testament concept of the oneness of God. The New Testament concept of the Trinity absorbs the idea of the God of the past, but goes beyond the God of the past in a new personal encounter that includes the coming of Jesus and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That being said, let us consider each person of the Trinity, starting today with the first person, the one whom Jesus addressed as Abba, Father, in Mark 14, verse 36. The love of God finds supreme expression as Father. God is known as Father in three separate senses. He is the Father of Jesus Christ in a unique sense, that is, by incarnation, as written in John 1, verse 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw His glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. He is the Father of believers by adoption or redemption, as written in Galatians 3, verse 26. For you are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. And he is the Father of all persons by way of creating all things, as written in 1 Corinthians 8, verse 6. Yet for us there is but one God, the Father from whom are all things, and we exist for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we exist through him. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.